So, we're back. More Blade Runner. You may be wondering, uh, didn't we already do all this? Well, yeah. Yeah, we did. And, uh, I'm not going to spare you to do it again, but remember at the end of the last episode where I tried to save it and uh, it kept giving me that error? Well, it turns out I had some setting wrong and so it wouldn't let me save the game. So here we are now, back at the beginning, and I'm going to zip through this real quick and attempt to do everything in the same order so that way uh, perhaps we can get the same result as we go forward with this game. So just uh, hang in there and I'm going to get through this real quick. Hold on. And now we're caught up. So we did all that stuff, collected all that stuff, talked to all those people, and now we're to the point where I believe we're gonna go check out the shooting range. Hopefully this works out. Hit the lock, Jack. I guess there ain't no harm in it. Target and shoot all threats. All right. Do not shoot innocents. Confirm target as hostile before shooting. I gotta remember how we do this. I think point. And, there we go. Uh. Okay. I don't see any targets. I know there was a. Well, there might have been an issue from what I read where due to the possibility completed sequence. Proceed to next station. Due to the possibility of the processor being too fast, the targets don't show up or something to that degree. That might be something I have to look into if this is actually necessary to complete the game. I don't ever remember it actually being something required. Lucky Strikes, Crystal's brand. I knew she was spending a lot of time in the training maze these days, even though she'd already gotten close to a perfect score. And... Uploading personal clue database. Downloading mainframe clue database. Clue database transfer complete. Okay, dumped all that in there. Scanning video disc. Two ah. enhanceable images found. Adding enhanceable photographs to Kaya database. Run sitter crime scene. Let's take a look. If I remember right, uh, we are able to select areas. And if there's something of interest, it'll CSI style zoom in. There we go, see? A sushi menu from Howie Lee's. Give me a hard copy of that. We've already been to Howie Lee's. Let's see what Brunsetter's looking at over here. No? Did 
There was something... Something else in this photo, I thought. No? What was it? No? So maybe there wasn't something else in here. I don't quite remember. Oh, there's Lucy. Oh yeah, here we go. Hello there, Lucy. Give me a hard copy of that. Give me a hard copy of that. In the same way that Runcitter wanted a hard copy of Lucy. Uh, oh, we can pan over X for. No, two more. I think that's all for that one. Runcitter Let's crime check this scene. One out. Oh, let's see. Of course, we want to let's see what he's looking at here. Is he gonna show us? No. Okay, it's just. But I believe we can get a license plate. Yeah. Local license plate. Give me a hard copy of that. And then I believe we could also get his face. He looks familiar. Give me a hard copy of that. How does he look familiar? Uh, if I recall property, properly, I believe those are the only items, the only items we can get from these two photos. So, okay. Let's go up to the next floor and see what's going on here in level three. Got anything new for me, Dino? I was wondering when you'd show your mug around here, McCoy. We got the animal corpses from Runcitus, but there wasn't a whole lot to work with. Bone marrow? About 50% were real, the rest were fakes. So, Runcitor was ripping his customers off. State of the art fakes. Miles beyond the crap you see on Animoid Row. The kind that comes from legit manufacturers? Yeah, they're the ones that usually produce the quality. What about the wounds? Most of them were shot point blank, but we're looking at some others. <laughs> Sloppy cuts with a knife, like the perp was really pissed off at something. Butcher knife? Could be, but who cuts meat anymore? Nice bunch of reps I'm tailing. Hope you're not pulling a meat cleaver out of my back next week. Okay. Anything else? Let's see if he knows anything that else. That black paint you found on the fire hydrant? It's from a ground car. You sure? The angle of impact was almost head on. And there ain't too many spinner drivers klutzy enough to smack a street level hydrant in VTOL mode. Mm. I heard your wife got her license back. <laughs> You're a real funny guy, McCoy. VTOL mode. Anymore? Anything else? That piece of chrome you found outside of Runcitus is from a 1995 Pontiac. Nice set of wheels. It's okay, not what I call a classic. Okay. Anything else? Anything else? Zip man, try me later. All right. And. Okay, so I think we're just about done here at the cop shop. Let's go back to the roof. I believe we're gonna go for a ride. Let's see where we got to check out. We're already here. There's my apartment. Let's go back to Chinatown. See if we can talk to, uh... Again. I mean, he's cutting stuff, and we know he's a sushi chef. Maybe his, uh, there he is. You know this girl or not? Nope. I know who I know. 
And who I don't know. Uh -huh. I don't know her. Think hard. Okay. Maybe seen her once. At station. Riding north on bullet train. North, huh? Uh-oh. All right, so action. Where'd he go? Should I? I don't want to shoot this guy. A big guy run past here? Hey, maybe spare some ginion? Sorry, pal. All I got are hundreds. Hey, that'd work. Huh. Hey, Pop! Hey, Pop! Okay. Let's look in the dumpster. Nothing even remotely interesting, but hell, if I was gonna root through trash, my expectations weren't too high. I almost shot that dude. So if you right click, he pulls his gun. Totally uninteresting. Totally. Totally uninteresting. Okay. Yuck. Alright, McCoy. Just pull your gun. I don't know if this big dude's gonna come after us or not. We're still gonna kinda chase him down. Locked. 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 Okay, we've got all this way and it's locked. Well? I should probably keep my gun drawn until I know if I'm going to get shot or not, or killed, or attacked, or knifed. To Howie again. This girl ever eat around here? Nah, all Gaijin look like you, old man. This from your place, isn't it? Yes, sir. You do Howie favor, distribute all through our police station. <laughs> See you later, Howie. All right, well, let's, uh, I guess. We'll uh, go on back to the apartment and see what the only place left to check out at this point. We know uh, Fatty Susha did something wrong. I mean, why else would he run? Run, McCoy. How many shots does this dude take? Uh, what's... What's going on? Rumor has it you've been earning your stripes, McCoy. Yeah, who is this dude? Working on it. Keep it up. You just might have a future in this business. I understand it's got a hell of a retirement plan. You VK the mark before retirement? Didn't have to. That's why they call it the magic. I'm starting to understand. You ever retire a human? Your career is over. Remember that. I checked with UN Air. 
Looks your rep swung that Moonbus massacre last month. They ever find the Moonbus? Disappeared into thin air. Brian thinks it crashed out in the Kipple. Who is this guy? How many reps are we talking about? Enough. They're Nexus Sixes. So don't take too much slack. Gotcha. Who is this? I don't know who this guy is. Yuck. Have we been introduced to this guy yet? I don't even know. Plot hole, maybe? Maybe I wasn't paying attention. Your floor number, please. Uh. Apartments. Roof. Ground floor. Apartments. Spill McCoy, apartments. 88F. 88. Thank you. You're welcome. I lived with the best gal I'd ever seen. She was two now and full of life and love. She'd cost me about a year's salary, but she was worth it. It was good to have someone warm nearby after completing a dirty job, and the retirement swag from this case would go toward getting her a partner. All right, we're going to take a quick break, and we'll be right back. Okay, so we're back. Let's explore McCoy's apartment. TV. Let's see what's over here. Here you go, baby. Dinner time. Yeah. Maggie, come here, girl. Pet the dog. Here you go, baby. Dinner time. Here you go, baby. Dinner time. <laughs> There's the food at the Here wall. you go, baby. Dinner time. Okay, that's enough feeding the dog. What's this? Oh, it's our. Home computer. We've already looked at that. Okay. Let's see what's off this way. Oh, it's our room. Let's have a introspective moment. Zubin was the first Nexus 6 I'd come up against. There was something in his eyes, an almost primordial desire to live. Most of the threes, fours, and fives I'd seen would just give up when you had them. But these sixes, they were a whole other breed. The Tyrell Corporation today recalled the last four functioning entertainment model Nexus 5 replicants from off-world service. Dr. Eldon Tyrell, speaking at a shareholders meeting, denied allegations that the model was defective and possibly dangerous. The simple fact is that the model wasn't performing its designated function. There was one isolated incident of violence a couple of years ago, but the individual unit in question was immediately retired from service. No, the problem is far from anything sinister. The entertainment model just isn't funny. Portrait of the Sleep Deprived. Man. Yeah, what's uh, this? What? Kingston Kitchen. Oh yes, right. Hold on. Is this what the gravity be like on Mars? Oh no. It's about a third of what we got here on Terra. Real comfy. How about turning that dial, okay? When I say oh! <laughs> Please, can you control your rat? I'll have you know that Ricky's a purebred chihuahua, and he's totally real. Things going good at Tyrell Corporation? Boring, boring. Old man Tyrell's been on a Wagner kick lately. He never shuts up. You also do outside work? Sweetie, I never go outside. It's bad for the glands. How about Nexus 6? You know a lot about them? I think you should be going now. <laughs> Understand the good, it holds deep meaning for me now. Where be your research on Nexus 6? I need test studies, contacts, the works. Only simulator! Extra terrestrial crap! I'm going to have this dude to a 6. 
One more minute, you be swallowing this explosive. Three more minutes, they be hosing you off the true life building across town. No, I swear. I don't have anything. If I did it, I'd give it to you. My people sick and dying. You tell me something. Talk to Dr. Tyrell. Tell me something I don't know. The organ designers, uh, Maraji, Hannibal Chu, Luther and Lance, they're closer to him than I am. Where? DNA Row. They're all working down on DNA Row. Oh, no, no, no. You one miserable package man. No. No, please, don't! <laughs> okay. Good morning. Up. Hope you aren't camped out there with a bottle of tequila. Oh, very funny. Early bird slays the worm, McCoy. Don't worry, I'm up, Lieutenant. What's the buzz? One of Tyrell's employees got his fat face splattered all over the marble interior of the Tyrell building. Inside? That's right, but we also got a sweet little break on it. Tyrell's surveillance system recorded the whole shebang. Beautiful. How many perps? Just one. I don't know if it's related to the run center deal or not. Tyrell security will have the disc for you when you get there. You'll be good, killer. Okay. Well, maybe that was the one dude that, uh... Let's feed the puppy. Run. Here you go, baby. Dinner time. Because it's always nighttime in Blade Runner Land. Your floor number, please. Let's see what's on the ground floor. Ground floor. I know my car's on the roof. Anything down here at all? Uh, it's not. Looking like it. Okay. Your floor number, please. Roof. If the body got cleaned up. Ron McCoy. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Oh. Okay, we now have, um, there's my apartment, there's front sitters, there's Chinatown, Tyrell building, let's do it. McCoy, LPD. Uh, just a minute. Where do I go? Grav test on the east wing, 66th floor. Uh, here's the footage from the security cameras. You get a pretty good look at the man's face. How'd he get past you guys? He pretended to be a delivery man. Dr. Eisendoller ordered in a lot, so it didn't seem unusual. I may have more questions for you later on. Yes, sir. And yeah, don't go anywhere. One more thing. I've told you everything I know, Detective. I gotta work. These monitors don't watch themselves. Yeah, it's a tough gig. All right. Upstairs. Anything out here? Someone had tried to access a bunch of protected files on the Tyrell network and failed. Not just once, but a dozen times. Tyrell engineers might forget their passwords, but what would the GravLab boys need with replicant DNA sequences and incept dates? That's a good point. Let's grab whatever that is. The earring was shaped like an insect. I didn't know much about jewelry, but it looked like junk to me. Like the cheap crap sold at the stands and shops of Animoid Row. Animoid Row. I bet you that's a new place we get to go to next. Let's go inside. Jesus. I've seen worse, but not by much. Learn anything? You could strain him through a sieve. That's pretty nasty. This hearing yours? Maybe it belongs to that other cop who was up here. The babe with the shades and the cigarettes. 
Ain't her style. Call her babe to her face, you're liable to end up with a severe limp. You spot anything you think I ought to know about, tell me. Absolutely. Alright, let's ask him one more time. You spot anything you think I ought to know about, tell me. Right, Absolutely. Uh, one of the nice things about this game is that... I'd seen more dead animals than live ones in the last 24 hours, and now it was dogs. Three of them. I thought about Maggie and nearly threw up. The nice thing about this game is the things that have interest, the, the, you know, we have the nice pretty backgrounds and then the voxel things. A takeout box from Kingston Kitchens. The dog collar has a name on it. Ricky, maybe? Obviously, he'd been killed with an explosive, and not just because he'd been plastered on the wall with a thousand strokes. The detonator wire I pulled out of his skull told the whole story. But I wondered why the killer didn't just shoot him. He's leaving a message, buddy. Disgusting. Yep. What's this? No? You spot anything you think I ought to know about, tell me. Absolutely. Alright. And... Oh. Okay, I think this is still just... The Dogs. I'd seen more dead animals than live ones in the last 24 hours, and now it was dogs. Three of them. I thought about Maggie and nearly threw up. What happens if I shoot this guy? Alright, I think that's all for now. Still nothing new out here. Oh. Lagging behind again? Guza didn't say anything about me working with a partner. Oh, in a pig's ass, Slim. No, I'm following up on my own. Could be it's linked to this Tyrell debacle. How's yours connected to mine? I'm still putting the pieces together. It's all stored in Esper's mainframe. You hear about the Moonbus massacre? Gaff mentioned it. Could be our cases are overlapping. I might keep you posted. Do that. Yeah, please do. Does the security guard know anything different? You friendly with Eisendeller? Most of the employees they see coming in morning and night, but old Marcus, I mean, uh, Dr. Eisendeller, he almost never left his lab. He afraid of somebody? I think it had something to do with the air outside and the germs. I once heard him complain about it. Smart. What was his job? Grub test chief engineer. The lab runs tests to see how a replicant would perform in different planetary gravitational fields. That kind of thing. One or the other engineers could tell you more. You know if anyone lost an earring like this one lately? Mm -hmm. Not one of the employees, that's for sure. The boss enforces a strict dress code around here. How did Eisendeller's moo moo fit in? Hey, <laughs> you know, company rules only apply to the lesser mortals. Right. How do I get in to see the big boss? You don't, unless he wants to see you. Okay. How do I make him want to see me? Well, you could call his personal assistant. Who is? Don't know, offhand. Yeah, I get the picture. Anything else? You know anything about Tyrell's computer system? Security is tight as a drum, if that's what you're asking. Somebody tried to access restricted data from the terminal in Dr. Eisendeller's office. But they couldn't get in. Yeah. Looks like Dr. Tyrell keeps his files safer than he keeps his employees. Anything more? I may have more questions for you later on. Yes, sir. All right, so looks like we're all out of questioning for the security guard. Move along. Uh, let's head back to... what's this? Animoid Road. Let's go back to the police station and we'll go ahead and analyze that footage. And then from there, we'll call it tonight, probably. Laboratory. Mainframe and shooting range. Let's go here. I would assume he doesn't know anything more. Mainframe and shooting range. Up 
Downloading personal clue database. Downloading mainframe clue database. Clue database transfer complete. Scanning video disk. One enhanceable image found. Adding enhanceable photographs to Kaya database. Let's Tyrell Grav Test Lab. All right, what do we want to look at? Let's look at Fatty McGee. Oh my God, he's fat. Okay, let's see if we can get something on his face. There we go. The earring was shaped like an insect. I didn't know much about jewelry, but it looked like junk to me. Like the cheap crap sold at the stands and shops of Animoid Row. Give me a hard copy of that. Yeah. And then... Let's look here. It says Kingston Kitchen. A takeout box from Kingston Kitchens. Give me a hard copy of that. Funny thing is, we've already discovered all of this stuff. Just by investigating the crime scene. So to think I, I didn't even need to investigate the crime scene, I could have just gotten this photo and then analyzed it and been done. That's funny. The dog collar has a name on it. Ricky, maybe? Give me a hard copy of that. So I have a hard copy of all the evidence I already have. Okay. That makes a lot of sense. And at this point, let's let's, let's take a look at our evidence here real quick. All right, he's our animal murder suspect. Candy. Chopsticks. Howie Lee's in Chinatown. I'd eaten there myself. Okay. Chrome debris came from a Pontiac. This woman says she saw that kid who worked for Runciter hanging around with a big fat guy last week. Yep. Judging from the distance between the prints, I was looking for two very big men. One dragged his right foot, indicating a possible injury or lameness. The other appeared a lot more controlled, graceful even. Quite a pair. Most of them were shot point blank, but we're looking at some others. <laughs> Sloppy cuts with a knife, like the perp was really pissed off at something. Right. She came to me with a reference from Ogilvy's in the north. Scratches and paint flex. About 30 counts of... Judging from the... That black paint... I... Howie Lee's. Bryant okay. wants... So we've... You know this girl or not? Nope. I know who I know, and who I don't know. I don't know her. Think hard. Okay. Maybe seen her once. At station. Riding north on bullet train. Right. Anyway, fac factory bombing. Okay, now, we were at the animal murder scene, sure. And the Eisendiller murder, murder we were just there. <laughs> See, we have some of this stuff twice. Is what gets me is factory bombing. This is Crystal Steel, badge number BR61354. Still working the explosion at the Tyrell manufacturing plant. It'll take a day or so to analyze the debris, but there's no doubt in my mind that we're dealing with a bomber here. Right now, it looks like the protesters had nothing to do with it. They were in too close proximity to have been in on the deal. No MOs or identities are rolling up just yet, and I'm still going through the inset files to see if any replicant munitions experts are unaccounted for. Oh, 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 that's right. She said she had uploaded the stuff from her case. That must be from her case, okay. And then, of course, the moon bus hijacking, which might be an overlap. So what we'll do is we will continue our investigation into the animal murders. Thank you.
we'll continue our investigation next time. Well, let's save it this time. Watch, it works. It works. Save. Yes. And there we are. You guys have a good night. See you next time.